Hey, it's Reagan with the More Designs, and I'm back. If you haven't checked my blog, then you don't know that I've been back for um, maybe a week. I'm not really sure. Um, we just got internet like a week ago, and you guys, it's awful. We are like in this little town, and there's only two internet providers, and both of them are awful. And um, well, the service is awful. It doesn't keep a good connection, and it goes back and forth, and it's frustrating. And anyways. Um, so, I just wanted to say hi, and I'm back, and, um, it'll probably be slow going for the next, um, few weeks as I get caught up on design team projects and, um, some things that I've been asked to do and that kind of things, and getting us all, um, continuing to get us all settled and everything. I don't, I've kind of stopped unpacking just because I'm bored with it, but um, we have all of the basics and everything's out and kind of in its place. We just need to unpack the rest of the girls' toys and all of that madness. Um, thank you so much for all of your um, kind comments and emails. Um, if you want to um, know a little bit more, you can go check my blog. Um, I put stuff on my blog that I don't necessarily put on my YouTube, so it's a good idea to kind of keep track of both because I don't put my design team projects up on YouTube. I put them on my blog, so you're kind of missing out on projects if you're not um, in the loop with both. Um, anyways, today I'm going to share with you my travelogue. Um, well, it's not my travelogue. My entry in Lynn's travelogue. Um, I got Lynn's travelogue right before we moved, and I brought it with me. And when I unpacked all of my stuff, all of my craft stuff, well, not all of it, some of it, I... Um, I started working on it because this was supposed to go out on the 25th and because of the move we were on the road during that time so um, I worked on it uh, last night and I'm gonna mail it out tomorrow but this is um, Lynn's travelogue and her theme was inspire and um, she let's see I'll show you my she wanted us to um, do a two-page spread on what inspires us, um, where we gain our inspiration from, our style, and all of that. Um, I really um, kind of cringe when we get when I get asked these questions, and I know I shouldn't, but um, it's just a really tough question for me. And um, so I'll kind of go through what I did. Um, this is oh, let me see. This is Paris and Company paper. Paris and Company paper by my mind, by my mind's eye. Um, it's got the blue. Um, I don't know. It's not a damask, but um, print in the back. And then I used the flat yellow and then the brown polka dots. And um, I used one of my tattered florals flowers that I learned how to do from Jules. And then I added a black feather, a yellow polka dot feather. I got this feather um, in a rack, but I'm don't remember who sorry and then a tan feather with some tool and then I used a seven gyps gypsy sticker it says scribble daily and have random thoughts and then on this side I um, printed off a button card it looks like this when you print it off um, and that's from the graphics fairy I'm pretty sure it's from the graphics fairy and I just added some um, I added some regular buttons and some vintage let's see this one and this one are vintage and the other ones are just regular buttons this one kind of looks vintage though and um, I sewed those on and then used a Maya road stick pen right here and I used some pattern sewing pattern paper and then I added a tag and then um, I'll go back and read to you what I wrote um, I did some faux stitching around the edges, and this was a pretty simple layout. Um, this is kind of my first thing since I've been back, so, um, and I wasn't sure what to do with this, so. Anyways, um, I will read you my journaling. It says, I think I cringe whenever someone asks me where I find my inspiration or what my style is. I'm not sure why, but I suppose it's because I feel like my style depends on the project and my inspiration comes from multiple places. I am a believer in finding inspiration in the small things like the buttons on the opposite page. I also love to see what other people are creating, and I tend to check out blogs, YouTube videos, and magazines. I also love to just jot ideas or thoughts down on paper. Sometimes that is just all you need to spark an idea. Um... I, I really like to find inspiration in little things. I don't necessarily find my inspiration in one spot. I think that it's all your perspective. It, sometimes 
one person looks at something and let's say you're looking at a shoe. To one person it's a shoe and to another person it's inspiration for colors for a scrapbook page. It's just all about how you look at it and um, and it's a it's a inward it's an outward expression of inward um, thoughts and feelings and and who you are and I don't I don't know how to explain it other than that so I hope that helps a little bit but um, I stuck a tag in here and I put a couple of quotes that I thought kind of um, um, explained where I get my inspiration or what inspiration and stuff is for me. It says the artist's world is limitless. It can be found anywhere far from where he lives or a few feet away. It is always on his doorstep. Paul Strand. And then on the other side it says God is really only another artist. He invented the giraffe, the elephant, and the cat. He has no real style. He just goes on trying other things. Pablo Picasso. And that is totally kind of just sums up what I just said um, about it's all how you look at things and, and you, I don't really have a style. I just go from one thing to another. What I create for, you know, my mom is going to be different from what I create f um, for my children and it's just a different style. It's, it's going to be more kid-friendly and kid-like um, and appeal to their, um, to their mindset and their age. And um, Anyways, I hope that kind of explains it and I hope Lynn likes my... Um, Likes my layout. Whoa, I'm sorry. My camera just fell. I hope I didn't make you sick right then. What a good way to start my videos back up. <laughs> Anyways, I hope Lynn likes the two-page layout, and I'm going to get this in the mail tomorrow. And I should only have, like, one or two more of these to do, and then hopefully I'll be getting mine back soon. And I'm really excited about that. So um, thank you so much for your support and your comments and your kind words. I really, really appreciate it. And um, hopefully I'll be on here soon. And... Um, get some more projects up for you guys. Thanks for watching.